afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching today's video. It is 100% morning for me. It is 10 minutes to 5 a.m. and I am on my way, as always, to boot camp. I'm actually really looking forward to today's workout because I missed two out of three of my boot camp sessions last week because my friend Michelle was here visiting and we were actually in Phoenix with our friend Henry. It was a really good time and definitely worth missing boot camp, but I am ready to go back. I did make my protein coffee this morning. I only drank about a quarter of it before I headed out the door. So I'll be finishing that when I get home and as I'm getting ready for the day. Speaking of day, we have a very busy day today. We are going to run some errands. We have lots of pumpkin inspired things to share with you today. And in fact, the errand that we're going to run is going to be about pumpkin as well. So definitely stay tuned for a fun day. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you're excited. Subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. And don't forget to check out that description box for nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories, highly recommend and coaching links and discounts to my favorite things and I've been getting a lot of questions about my Facebook group it is also linked down in the description box it's free it's supportive come join us there so I've got my water I've got my mats my weights in the back and I'm gonna go get my workout done for the day so I just got ready for the day did my hair did my makeup I actually filmed this eye look for my beauty channel so if you're not in my beauty channel and you love makeup definitely come subscribe it's budget beauty it's linked down below for you I am about to get dressed for the day but I wanted to share with you guys the socks that I wore to boot camp I know that seems kind of weird but let me just tell you how much I love these socks so little back history I went to a shoe store when I was in San Diego last time, was custom fitted for shoes, insoles, and socks. And I bought these cooling socks at that store. They were extremely expensive, about $10 a pair. I like those socks and I wanted some more cooling socks, but I didn't want to spend $10 a pair. And I found these on Amazon. So I have been wearing these cooling socks for several workouts now. I wore them to boot camp for the first time this morning. I've been wearing them walking, hiking to the gym, and then I wore them to boot camp just to see how they performed in a little bit more high intensity workout. I love these socks so, so much. Please do not buy high end cooling socks when you can pick these up right off of Amazon. They actually come in several different colors, gray, white, pink, and black. I decided to go ahead and pick mine up in black just so that they would match with everything. These are from the brand Avo Air, and these are athletic cooling running socks with Cool Max technology. These are tailored for sports designs. They're specifically designed for sports, providing enhanced support, durability compared to regular socks. They also feature moisture wicking, breathable properties, and utilizing the cooling technology. It helps keep your feet dry and cool during exercise. It's made of a high-tech Lycra fabric, providing effective cushioning and support. They are labeled left and right, so it's easy to know what sock goes on what foot. They are seamless on the inside, which reduces friction. The lifespan of these socks is also three times large, longer than other comparable cooling socks. Love the breathability of these, but my favorite, favorite feature is this little lip in the back. That was one of the main reasons I bought the really expensive socks is because they have this lip. So it allows you to pull the sock on easy and then your shoe fits at the base of the lip and then the lip sticks outside of your shoe and that prevents any rubbing or abrasion on the heel area. And again, allows to pull, put on and pull off the sock very easily. That is the main feature that I loved about these. They are very thick, very high quality, but definitely kept my feet nice and cool. Wicked up all the moisture during my workout as well because I get very, very sweaty. These are incredible. They come in a three pack and they range anywhere from about 12 to $15 for three pairs of socks, which is less than half what I paid at the custom shoe store. And honestly, better quality. And you can pick them up right off of Amazon. So free shipping right to your door. I bought a three pack. I plan on buying all of the other colors, the gray, the pink, and the white. Literally, these are the best cooling socks I have ever, ever used. So check these out down below. I will link them right off of Amazon with a discount. So you even can save more money off the super affordable price. So now that we've talked about my workout socks, let's head on into the kitchen, make some breakfast. I'm going to get dressed for the day. I'll share with you my outfit of the day. All right, it is time for breakfast. 
I'm starving. I definitely need some food after that workout. So what I wanna do, what I like to do post-workout is really get in a good amount of protein and some healthy carbohydrates, and then I always take my recovery in my water as well. So I'm going to mix up my Motivate Recovery, and I'm going to scramble, I think, two eggs together, top it with some reduced fat shredded cheese. That's going to give me some protein. And then I'm gonna, I'm going to have two of my Alyssa's Healthy Oatmeal Bite Cookies. Look how good these look. These are absolutely delicious. Nice, clean ingredients, a good source of slow digesting carbs. I just buy these off of Alyssa's baking website. I'll link it down below for you guys. So let me make breakfast and I'll be back to share it with you and we'll go over points, calories, and macros. So here's my breakfast, my two eggs, two tablespoons of light shredded cheese, two of the amazing Alyssa's cookies. I'm telling you, they're super, super good. I love them. I actually have a trip coming up here in about a week and a half. I'm going to take a whole package with me. I'm going to do that in yogurt for breakfast just so I can stay on track. They're really, really absolutely delicious. So I'll go ahead and put all the information here on the screen for you and let's go talk about my outfit of the day. So as promised, I wanna share with you my outfit of the day, mainly my pants. So I'm actually wearing some active wear leggings from a brand that I recently discovered called Silverwind. What drew me to this brand, number one, is how adorable their workout pieces are. They have at leisure pieces as well as swimwear. Everything about this brand is very, very unique. And as I dug into the brand a little bit more, I realized that they are a 100% sustainable brand. I read through their entire website. It just tugs at my heartstrings to see a brand that is sustainable. And not only their packaging, how their pieces are created and the end result of those pieces, how beautifully curated they are. They feel very luxe, very high end for affordable prices. So I went ahead and placed an order because I had to try them out. I wanted to try out their leggings, their biker shorts, and their sports bra. I am 100% in need of sports bras, so I actually picked up three, three completely different patterns, completely different styles to test out the brand. And spoiler alert, I am amazed not only by the quality, but the fit of these products is exquisite. The main thing I loved about Silverwind is they use recycled plastic bottles to create their workout pieces. The pattern activewear is made from recycled polyurethane tetraphyte, PET, which is basically plastic bottles. They're reprocessed and made into workout gear. It uses 50% less energy and it also means that they help save the planet by recycling plastic bottles into activewear. It's a six step process and you get these beautiful pieces, which is absolutely incredible. One of the main things that drew me to this brand, every pattern sports bra is 16 plastic bottles they recycled and every pair of printed yoga pants is 28 plastic bottles. They saved over 82,000 plastic bottles in the year of 2022. Their swimwear is also made from regenerated fibers that are recycled from nylon waste like fishing nets and ocean debris. So they're not only saving the planet, they're saving the ocean. Their workout gear came beautifully packaged. Everything about it is plastic free. They're 100% plastic free packaging. It came with this beautiful burlap bag. Everything was tied up beautifully with recycled hemp. They are such an amazing sustainable company that not only offer above average work conditions for their employees, sustainability for the planet, the ocean, and they give back. So I picked up a pair of workout leggings, a pair of biker shorts, and three sports bras. So let's start with the leggings because I'm actually wearing them today. I will also, I would also like to note that their leggings and their shorts have pockets. This is a feature that I need in my workout gear. You guys know I hike a lot and I have to carry my car key, my phone, and I really like to have pockets. And that's not always the case with a lot of workout brands, especially brands at this amazing of a price point. So I bought the Hey Cloud high-waisted pocket leggings in black. They actually come in sizes extra small through extra, extra large. I picked mine up in a size large. They fit me great. I definitely could have sized down to a medium. They are a little bit more of that athletic, silky lycra material. Very, very stretchy, but still offers compression. I love the booty contour of these leggings as well, and they are full length leggings. They're ultra soft and lightweight. They literally feel like you're wearing clouds, hence the name Hey Cloud, and I love them. They have several different colors of the leggings on their website. I wanted to get black just to test them out, but you can be, you can bet I'll be picking up all of the other colors. They're affordable and the quality is so good. So for shorts, I had to get leopard print, of course. These are so cute. These are the Wilderness Leopard Crossover Pocket Bike Shorts. Yes, they have pockets. Love that for us. These are inspired by wildlife 
and nature. They're mid-length biker shorts that are subtly contoured with the V-shaped waistband and ruched details for a flattering fit. You can wear these to work out. You can wear these every single day I as everyday wear. I love the crossover waistband and again the pockets. The pockets is something I was really excited to see in an affordable high quality brand. These are 100% recyclable made from water bottles. I really, really love that as well. I picked mine up in a size large. I feel like they fit me really nicely. I could have probably got a medium. I would say though that overall the leggings and the shorts are definitely true to size. And since I picked up the leopard leggings and I love leopard, as you know, I did go ahead and order a leopard sports bra. Look at how cute this shoulder strap is. It's a double shoulder strap. This is a long line sports bra. There is no zippers, no closures. You just pull it over your head. This is the Wilderness Leopard Cutout Shoulder Sports Bra. Also comes in sizes extra small through extra extra large. It's a medium support bra with removable pads. It is also made from recycled water bottles and is 100% recyclable. So this doesn't end up rotting in the landfill. You can recycle workout gear. Who would have known a brand would be so innovative to come up with a workout gear you can recycle, but Silverwind definitely did it. I think this whole little outfit is adorable. This with these black leggings, also adorable. I appreciate that it's a long line bra with a full coverage back. And when I got my order, like I showed in the clip, I got the little bag and then they sent me a leopard scrunchie. I mean, I'm going to be all decked out in leopard. And then let's talk about this sports bra. I mean, how cute is this magenta color? When I ordered my sports bras, I made sure that, like I said, I got three different styles so I could try them out. This is a regular sports bra, so not a long line. I love the strappy back of this. This is so cute. It has little dual thin straps and then this more braided design that goes down into that triangle strappy pattern. I love the color of this. I love the pattern of this. This is the Magenta Paisley's Weave Back Sports Bra. Again, sizes extra small through extra extra large. This celebrates the strength of women and their limitless potential. It contains removable pads and elastic underbound underband. It's very comfortable while providing enough support. It has that slight v-neck neckline which is very flattering and then again that same ruching in the middle. So I actually wore this bra to the gym yesterday. If you didn't know I walked to the gym, I lift weights and I walk home and this bra was perfect for that. I believe they have these leggings. That's my next purchase. How cute would that little matching outfit be? And this bra fits me beautifully. I did pick mine up in a size large. I wanted to get a bra that the style was really unique and the pattern was really unique and Silverwind had a lot of those options and I chose this guy right here. Isn't this cute with that little keyhole, de keyhole detail? And look at this fun pattern on this sports bra. This is the Luna Mesh strappy bra. Again, sizes extra small through extra, extra large. The green butterflies symbolize hope while the enchanting emerald starry sky represents yearning and aspirations. I love the mesh paneled neckline with that keyhole. I love the strappy, the strappy design of this bra. This does not have any closure, so you simply just pull it over your head. This is a medium support bra, and all of these straps just offer a really fun kind of strappy design to the back. And the pattern of this is so unique. Again, buttery, buttery soft. This is a little bit longer lined sports bra. They also have matching leggings in this pattern. I can see myself pretty much buying one of everything on this website. I love that they're a sustainable small business and that they are really focused on unique workout at leisure and swimsuit design. I did wear this bra to boot camp and it was fantastic. That is a high intensity workout for me. I was doing burpees, I was doing mountain climbers, and that bra held everything in and was very, very comfortable. So it is a medium support, but you can utilize that for higher impact workouts. And really all of these pieces can be worn day to day. I just love everything about this brand. I had to share it with you because I know a lot of you look for really comfortable workout gear, at leisure wear, and even swimsuits. I definitely want to pick up a few of their swimsuits. So I'm going to link all of my pieces down below for you. Direct links for easy shopping. I'll link their website and I have a discount for 20% off for you. So I'll put that down below. You can't beat it. 20% off the already super affordable prices. So definitely check out Silverwind. You will not be sorry. Little Miss Lola is outside rolling around when it's 100 degrees today. Hey you, do you know it's hot out? Come on, you get here to come here. You're a happy girl. It's too hot. Why are you rolling around outside when it's 100? Oh, do you need a treat? Do we need treats? Pete out, do you need a treat? 
for, for the cutie patootie over here. And second for my baby. So Troy and I have been updating our bedroom a little bit, adding a few pieces. Let me open the window because we leave the windows closed because it's Arizona and it's really, really hot. So we got a new chair for our bedroom so that Troy had a spot to sit down, put his shoes on at night. Anyway, so, uh, so he had a spot to put his shoes on, so let me show it to you. And then we wanted something in order to store an extra blanket or blankets for our bedroom because we are getting into the cooler months and sometimes we want extra blankets while we're sleeping and we need a place Place to store them that looks nice in our bedroom but also is functional for storage of blankets and then I also wanted a place to store extra pillows in my spare bedroom so you know I love good good pick I have several several pieces from good pick my laundry hamper my little shelves that are in my dining room I love my shelves those are from good pick my bag organizer that's in my kitchen I really really love the brand and so I went onto their website and found a basket that is going to be perfect for blankets and perfect for spare pillows in the spare room and really anything. I was even thinking it would be a great way to store dog toys or dog leashes, collars. I mean, really there's this endless things that you can do with the basket. Would you like to show them where the basket's gonna go? So this spot right here is what we were thinking. Whoa. I know, hang on please. We were thinking of putting the basket with the extra blankets right next to that chair that's in the corner. So this is the Good Pick Melee Woven Rope Storage Basket. It is made of 100% natural cotton rope. The dimensions are 15.8 inches by 15.8 by 13.8 inches. It weighs about three pounds empty. It's a nice heavy duty basket. That's what I love about these good pick baskets. You can hold clothes, blankets, comforters, cushions, kid toys, towels, pillows, bedding, and more. You can use it really in any room in your house and it makes a really great gift. It is fully washable. You can hand wash it or machine wash it. And if you are going to mach machine wash it, just throw it in a laundry bag. Really, really nice quality. And I think it is the perfect addition for our master bedroom and our guest bedroom. So as promised, I'm so excited you guys we're going to make a pumpkin cream cold foam copycat recipe from Starbucks. So this is going to be Starbucks pumpkin cold foam at home on homemade cold brew. So I have been making my own cold brew now for a few weeks. I haven't shared it with you guys because I was perfecting it. I was trying to find the best of the best cold brew brand, the best way to brew your own at home cold brew and I have figured it out. First of all, I bought the best cold brew pitcher right off of Amazon. This was a recommendation from someone I follow on TikTok. It comes with everything you need to brew at home cold brew. So your grinds go in here, which goes down into the pitcher. You fill it with water. I'll go ahead and insert some clips here of me brewing this cold brew. What I do is I make it a day ahead of time. I leave it out on my counter for 24 hours. You don't want to put it in the refrigerator. You want to keep it at room temperature on your counter. Allow the cold brew to steep completely in the pitcher. Once I remove the filter, I empty the grinds into the garbage can and then I top it off with water. It is pretty strong. I'm going to share with you the brand of cold brew that I've discovered that I love. It's the only one I've been using, but it brews some strong cold brew. So if you want to make it a little bit more mild, like I said, you can always top off what room is left in the cold brew glass pitcher with some water, and then you go ahead and place it in your refrigerator. Each one of these pitchers of cold brew lasts me anywhere from three to four drinks, depending on the size of cold brew that I make. Today, we're going to make a big one. I need it. I've been up since 4 a.m. and I have a busy, busy day. So again, decide. it depends on the size of cold brew that you make. So the cold brew brand that I love is Drag Up. Now I found this on TikTok. I ordered a bag and scents have ordered bags, several bags. I have lots of them. And of course, no surprise to anybody right now is Pumpkin AF, which is their seasonal cold brew, which is what is in my pitcher, which pairs perfectly with the Starbucks cold brew cold foam. So I also have cookies and cream. I have Texas pecan donut shop. I love Drag Up. It is the best cold brew. I tried a bunch of different brands. None of them created a cold brew that wasn't really, really bitter or very boring. Some of them had virtually no flavor. Drag Up is full of flavor. It is not bitter at all. It is nice and smooth. And again, she's a cold, she is a strong cold brew. So just 
add a little bit of extra water to make it just the right cold brew for you, but I cannot recommend Drag Up enough. So it's a small batch roasted to order small business. I love, love, love them. I did reach out to Drag Up, got a discount for you guys. They were so lovely, the owner, to give me a discount. Such a great guy. So I love knowing that I'm supporting a small business and a well-operated small business with amazing cold brew. So I'll link Drag Up with the discount and my cold brew pitcher right off of Amazon. So let me show you what you'll need in addition to your cold brew for the Starbucks pumpkin cold foam. Now you can use any cold brew. You can also do this with espresso or even regular coffee. You can put it on hot coffee or iced coffee, whatever your preference. So you're going to need a non-fat milk. Of course, I'm going to use Fair Life. You're also going to need heavy whipping cream and sweetened condensed milk. So I'm going to do the fat-free sweetened condensed milk just to save some points and some calories. Pumpkin pie spice, obviously, vanilla extract, and then just a tiny little pinch of salt. So let me bring you down. Let's make up the cold foam. So the recipe makes one to two servings. So depending on how much cold foam you want, we're going to see how much this creates, and then we'll decide if we want to make it into one or two, and we're going to top our pumpkin AF Draga cold brew. So I always just grab out a glass. I actually just ordered a glass in from Timu. You'll see it in my next Timu haul for cold foam specifically. I've been doing that a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it a lot. But for this one, we need two tablespoons of non-fat milk of your choice. Six tablespoons of heavy cream. I can tell you right now that this is going to make more than one coffee of cold foam for me. I usually only do one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream on my cold, for my cold foam. So this is definitely maybe even going to be three for me. So let's just see how much it makes. Two tablespoons sweetened condensed milk. our pumpkin pie spice. Go ahead and do it to your liking. I'm going to do a lot. And then I'm going to add my vanilla and the recipe calls for about a half of a teaspoon. And then just a teensy tiny pinch of salt. And then a handheld frother, go ahead and mix that up until you create cold foam. So it's going to be similar to a whipped topping consistency. Look at this. Ooh, we've got nice cold foam consistency. P.S. I tasted it. It's incredible. So into my 32 ounce mason jar, which is what I always use for coffee, I'm going to add my cold brew. You can do as much as you want. I typically fill it up about three quarters of the way full. I do like a little bit of ice, so I'm going to add a few ice cubes. And then the star of the show, that pumpkin cream cold foam, you guys. It is so delicious. And you can see I have quite a bit left. You can just put this back in your fridge, and when you're ready to make another coffee, you'll just froth it back up again, and you'll get that cold foam consistency. I mean, look how beautiful she is. Is it not screaming Starbucks at home. And like I said, there's enough left over for me to make at least two more drinks. So I'm going to call that recipe three servings. So I'll put the points, calories, macros here on the screen for the three servings of cold foam. And the Draga cold brew is zero calories, zero points. So the only thing you have to count is the actual cold foam. Let me try this. I can't wait. Mm. It's so sweet and so pumpkin-y. I like to stir mine into my coffee. I actually do this when I go to Starbucks as well. It'll still leave a little layer on top, but it actually adds the sweetness and the flavor to your coffee. That is freaking delicious. You guys, this is Starbucks. This is Starbucks at home. It's so good. It's so pumpkin-y, it's so fall. Mm. Definitely grab Drag Up, definitely grab the cold brew pitcher. I'm going to have to brew some more off of Amazon. This is so good. I'm going to throw some saran wrap on my little cup here. That way I'll be able to make a Starbucks pumpkin cold foam tomorrow. Mm. This is everything that I needed it to be. So I'm going to make a quick morning snack. I am editing some videos right now. I have such a busy day today. 
And then we're heading out a little bit later to run our errands, but I'm hungry. I'm extra hungry today. I'm about to start my cycle, so that's probably part of it. And I had a pretty killer workout at boot camp. So let me show you what I'm gonna have for a morning snack. I'm going to make a yogurt bowl using a few different ingredients to try. So I'm going to start with an Oikos triple zero in vanilla. So I wanted just a vanilla base because I'm going to add some of this Puffins peanut butter cereal to the top of my yogurt bowl for a crunch. It'll bring in some peanut butter vibe. And then I'm going to use some pumpkin seeds and hemp seeds for some healthy ingredients. So here's my yogurt bowl. I ended up adding some cacao nibs as well. I did half of a cup of the Puffins cereal. So half of a serving, my yogurt, pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, and cacao nibs. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. What's happening? What? Oh yes, I know. Palmer, is your sister crazy? What? What you want? Come here. Come here. You're just a happy girl. You're so happy. So it's time for some lunch. I am very hungry. I'm going to eat lunch kind of quickly and then we're heading out to run some errands. So a few days ago I made up some tuna salad. So basically all this is is canned tuna, sweet relish, red onions, and light mayo. This was four cans of tuna we've been eating on this the last few days. I've actually been doing crackers with tuna but today I'm going to make a little sandwich using the western bagel. This is the plain alternative bagel. 120 calories with eight grams of protein. So it's a good way to get in some protein. I'm going to toast my bagel, top it with some tuna salad, and then I haven't had any fruit today. So I'm going to have some blackberries. I definitely need to eat these up before I head grocery shopping in a couple days. And then I have a teeny tiny ripe banana. So I'm going to slice this up, mix it with some blackberries. So here's my lunch. This actually looks amazing. I did weigh out my fruit on my food scale. I have 95 grams of blackberries. My banana was 63 grams. One of my plain Western bagel. I'll link Western bagel down below with 10% off for you. And then I did 100 grams of tuna salad. So that is going to be my high protein lunch and I'm getting in some fruit for the day. All right, we are off to run a couple of errands. First stop, post office. I've got a mail a bill and I have a return to Shein. So I am going to a conference mid-September and they have a costume party. And my friend Chastity is also having a Halloween party. So I decided that I wanted to be a devil. So I ordered everything off of Shein's website because it's super, super affordable. Well, unfortunately the shoes don't fit. I even ordered my same size. So I don't know if they just run really small, but I couldn't even get my foot in there. And then I actually ordered two dresses for the devil costume. One of them just is beautiful. It's kind of sparkly, it's perfect. This one is a little bit more of a plasticky material. Number one, it's way too short like way too short and number two, it's too tight. So I'm returning both of those things and then we have to run to Target. So the closest Target to me is actually in Tucson. So it's about a 25 minute drive one way. I need canned dog food. I need Palmer's chicken bones that he gets every morning. He gets half of a chicken bone when Lola gets her little better health bone thing. And we're almost out of those. And then I heard that Target has their fall stuff in, tons and tons of fall stuff, decor wise, food wise. And I also heard that they have their seasonal whipped cream. And you guys know how much I love the seasonal whipped creams from Target. So I just want to go and see what they have for fall. Since we're in a fall mood, since we're focusing on pumpkin today, what do they have? I asked Troy the other day if he'd be willing to do a fall taste test with me. And he kind of said yes, kind of. He said, I guess, or sure, I can't remember, but he's basically saying yes. So we're gonna commit him to that a little bit later this month as well. So I did bring my water with me. I filled it with one of the Clean Simple Eats energy drinks, the Kiwi one. I, the energy packets, the Kiwi one. I really, really love that packet. That way I have some water to drink while I'm out. And then I'm going to have a protein shake when I get home. I have such a good protein shake recipe with a brand new powder from Clean Simple Eats to share with you guys. So let's go to the post office and Target. So scratch the post office. I just remembered it is a holiday today. So we're gonna have to save that for another day. So onward to Target. So I just got to Target, I'm walking in and I was thinking about the irony, number one, that I'm going to look for fall stuff when it's 100 degrees today. And number two, I'm wearing a shirt that says Sun Sand Beach. But regardless, we're at Target, let's see what they have. 
their dollar spot is happening. First of all, look at how stinking cute these little pumpkins are. I love them. So cute. Oh, look. Oh my goodness. Also, of course, I picked the cart that makes all the noise and is really hard to push. So this is the canned food that I get from my dogs, this kind full brand. It's a bucket 99 a can. Also, this is a great section to stop by. They're little pre-portioned snacks. They only come out typically at Halloween and I think Valentine's Day. I just bought the big thing of this at Sam's Club, but they have tons of options and it's just a really good way to get portion control and still have your favorite treats. So they have the Swiss Miss Pumpkin Spice, which sounds amazing, but then I spotted Peppermint Mocha Hot Chocolate Mix. That speaks to me more, but it is not that time. It is not that time. The Frosted Mini Wheats Pumpkin Spice last year, and they're really, really good. And then we also got the Pumpkin Spice Oreos, also very good. They also have Pumpkin Spice Hot Cocoa. They have Butter Rum Coffee and Coffee Pods a cinnamon granola, canned pumpkin, and then pumpkin spice instant oatmeal. All right, Target haul. It is hot, it is super hot out. Now it's over 100, it's 101 now. So first thing I picked up was 14 cans of dog food. So our dogs take their medicine in canned food every day. So it lasts a long time, but we were down to I think one can. And then I did restock my Fair Life milk because I am almost out and I need it for the protein shake we're gonna make when we get home. And then I was super excited to see the favorite day whipped cream. I talked about this, how I like their seasonal whipped creams. So I got two of the pumpkin spice and then I got one of the maple vanilla. Mm, all of that just screams fall to me. Bag number two, I got some pumpkin spice stuff. So I got the Special K pumpkin spice. Troy will eat this as cereal and then I could actually top my yogurt with this. I am still on the hunt for the pumpkin Chobani. I haven't found it anywhere. I even looked here. They didn't have it. And then pumpkin spice Oreos. Troy actually really likes these. So I know that he'll eat these as well. And then I did get the pumpkin spice marshmallows. I just thought these were really fun. These would be a great topper on Ninja Creamy or protein pudding. And then I was thinking I could do pumpkin spice rice crispy treats for like a boot camp girls night. So I picked those up. Pumpkin spice seasoning because I'm almost out. And I do want the one from Trader Joe's, but I won't be going to Trader Joe's until a little bit later this month. And I am almost out. And then I got this little cutie patootie, this little gnome. He's so cute. He was $3. I love him. I don't know where I'm going to put him, but he's adorable. I also got two bags of Palmer's chicken bones. They're actually turkey and sweet potato, but we call them chicken bones. These are the puppy ones, so they're small. He gets half of one of these in the morning. And then lastly, little teeny batteries. This is for our remote that turns on our kitchen light. The battery died. So that is everything that I got at Target. I want to say it was 90 ish dollars. So let's head home and make that protein shake. So we're back from running our errands and it is time for an afternoon snack. I am hungry and we're sticking with all the pumpkin theme today. Look what's here Clean Simple Eats Pumpkin Pie Protein Powder. OMG, is this amazing. You guys know I love Clean Simple Eats. I use their protein powder at least once a day, sometimes twice a day. I just stocked up on all the little packets. I have three trips coming up in the next couple months, so I stocked up on that. 
but we know I love pumpkin. So I went ahead and got the big bag. I am so excited about this. So we're going to make a pumpkin pie protein shake. And when I got my bag, I got this little card right here and it says a CSC twist on your favorite fall drink, hashtag protein PSL. So on the back, it's a recipe for a protein pumpkin spice latte. I will go ahead and pop the recipe up here on the screen, but basically it's a cup of fat-free milk. Of course, I'm going to use Fairlife for that. A serving of the pumpkin pie protein powder, vanilla extract, pumpkin pie spice. You can top it with whipped cream, and then you, of course, can add espresso to get the whole protein coffee. I tried this. It is incredibly delicious. It rivals the Starbucks, and you're getting 20 grams of protein in the CSE protein powder. And then for me using Fairlife, I get another 13 grams. So my pumpkin spice latte is 33 grams. I've been loving it. If you guys want to see me make this, comment down below. We can do it in next week's What I Eat in a Day. Since we did the Drag Up, Pumpkin AF, and Starbucks cold foam today, I will show you how I make my protein pumpkin spice latte. But today we're making a protein shake and I couldn't be more happy about it. So I'm going to use one scoop of my Clean Simple Eats pumpkin pie protein, a cup of low of fat-free Fairlife milk. That's going to give me another 13 grams. So that's 33 grams of protein, pumpkin pie spice, obviously, and then, of course, whipped cream. So let's make our very first of the season pumpkin pie protein shake. making baked chicken tacos and I'm really excited for this. I will probably pair this with some salsa, sour cream. I'll show you all of that at the end, but here's what you'll need for the actual recipe. Taco seasoning of your choice, refried beans, a can of diced tomatoes, and a small can of diced green chilies. Preferably stand in stuffed taco shells. These just work better lined in the pan and popped into the oven. An onion, Cooked shredded chicken. This is the white meat shredded chicken from Sprouts and some light shredded cheese. I went ahead and sprayed my skillet with some nonstick cooking spray. Diced up my red onion. I'm going to toss those in and allow them to start to cook. Then we're going to add in the chicken and allow it to warm through with the onion. I'm going to add in the can of drained diced tomatoes and the can of drained green chilies. Lastly, one packet worth of taco seasoning. Stir that up and just allow it to warm through. It is going to bake in the oven, so it doesn't have to be completely hot. You just want to get those flavors melted. So in a pan, you're going to put your 10 taco shells. I just butt them up right next to each other. Fill the pan with all 10. And then we're going to put about a tablespoon of the refried beans in the bottom of each of the shells. Then we're going to add the chicken mixture and you can fill the taco up completely all the way to the top. And then we're just going to put the shredded cheese right on top. And then we're going to use two full cups or one small bag of light shredded cheese. And we're going to sprinkle that on top. Like the recipe says, more cheese, the better. You're just going to layer that right on top of the tacos and then it'll melt and kind of crust them together when they bake. This is really my favorite way to eat tacos. I love a good baked taco. And then they're going into a 400 degree oven for about seven to 10 minutes. So the baked tacos are out of the oven. These look absolutely amazing. I'm going to go ahead and plate mine up. I probably will have two. I'm going to plate up one to start. I'll have some sour cream, some salsa, and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. And here is my dinner. One tablespoon of sour cream, about a tablespoon and a half of salsa. It is the end of the night. I'm about to go wash my face, put my pajamas on, cuddle up with Lola and watch a show. And for dessert tonight, I'm going to have my Just Air Puff Corn in Cinnamon Bun. These are only 100 calories per bag. It is a cross between popcorn and puffed puffs. Like the Pirate's Booty, it's kind of like that, but sweet. I bought these little bags at Sam's Club. They had a big variety box. You got three different flavors, original, pancake and cinnamon bun, 
They're all amazing. So I'm going to do this for dessert tonight. I'm still finishing up the last of my water for the day. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For today's what I eat in a day on WW. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me today. All the fall pumpkin vibes. Don't forget the Starbucks copycat pumpkin cream cold foam. That's a mouthful. And a nice dinner recipe are on my website. My website is linked at the top of the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to everything I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things. And come join my Facebook group. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. I hope you have an amazing, amazing Wednesday, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!